Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know, my name is Wesley Meyer. I am a realtor here in the Nashville area. I believe it's your responsibility as a potential home buyer, as a home seller, to educate yourself. So that's why I make these videos. I want you guys to be educated about the decisions you're making before the real estate transaction takes place. Today, we're gonna to take a look at the Nashville housing market. We're gonna take a snapshot of where we were last month in October. I'm gonna talk about where I think we are headed for the rest of the winter and kind of what that seasonality tends to look like. We're gonna keep this a little bit shorter today. Not a whole lot has happened that's not to be expected right now. So let's dive into the data real quick. Okay, so first, let's go to single family. And this is all of Davidson County. I'm not doing the surrounding counties. This is just Davidson County. Single family homes, all bedrooms, all baths, all years built. And this is all price ranges. So this is going from your multi-million dollars all the way down to your, you know, need a lot of work type houses, the fixer uppers. So let's take a look at October. The sales price, median sales price in October, $491,000 and that is just a little bit down from last month from September which was 495. We're holding steady in the 4 around the 490. So the month before that in August was 487 and honestly for going into the winter months for approaching the holidays we're looking extremely strong as far as median sales price. Normally things start ticking down by now. We're we're bouncing back and forth between that 490 $490,000 average, or excuse me, median sales price for here in Nashville. Let's look at total homes for sale. So we have been dropping, and this is common. This is common seasonality for winter. I expect homes for sale to continue to drop, just with interest rates being high, sellers don't wanna sell their house, and then the seasonality, people don't like to move during the holidays. So that's to be expected, but I mean, it's been dropping. We've talked about this before. It's been dropping all the way since June because of the high interest rates and people just are not selling their homes very much right now. So those two things combined, I think we're gonna keep seeing that tick down a little bit. Now, as far as the number of closed sales, that's also down. So that's kind of mirroring how many homes are for sale. Days on market. So this is showing just how much competition there is in the marketplace right now, as far as how many buyers there are. And average days on market is continuing to go up. September was 24, we are up two days from that. The average days on market in October was 26 days on market. So we are creeping back up. Still, still below the historical average before the pandemic, but 26 is, it's a pretty good amount of time. So a little bit more generalized price per square foot of single family homes in Nashville. This is, this is really where you can tell across all price ranges, what is the average price per square foot. And this is where you can see it's really been steady. We haven't really had any major price drops. We've had we've been bouncing around a little bit up, a little bit down, but we've been very, very steady. It's been a very, very rock steady year for for price here in Nashville. And that that's nothing new really. Month supply, it's dropping. This number is how many months would it take at the current level of demand for all the homes to be sold? And right now we're at four. So that's a lot of homes. Really, there aren't that many homes on the market. We saw that earlier, but this demand isn't there. So that's why we have about four months of inventory. If interest rates were to drop tomorrow, that would shoot down. We would we'd be closer down to here, about two, two or three months in my opinion. But because people aren't listing their homes during the holidays, this number is dropping. So a little bit less supply, which makes this number go down. Let's look at how many discounts we're getting here. So right now, from the list price to the price it goes under contract at is 98%. So you're looking at an additional 2% of discount on average applied. So don't stop pushing. Don't stop negotiating once you're under contract on the house. That's my advice right now. Push for as much as you can get. On that note, you can get a lot. I'm about to go under contract on a house right now with one of my buyers. We offered under listing price and we asked for 6% seller credits which that's a lot, that is a lot of seller credits, but it's the kind of market right now where you can get huge, huge discounts on houses and you can close on a house with as little cash as possible. It's just that kind of market. So we'll see where it ends up, but I was showing my houses that have been on the market since January. So just things aren't moving very well. 
So take advantage of that. I've said it before, take advantage of that. Use that leverage that you have right now as buyers. I've said that before because even as we close in on the holidays, sellers wanna get their homes off the market. They wanna sell. So use that to your advantage. I certainly am with my clients. But kind of summary about where we are right now with our market, inventory's dropping. Some of that's due to high interest rates. Some of that is due to seasonality. There's nothing really new there. Not much has changed as far as the, the average price of a home here in Nashville. We are holding steady. But again, as we saw with average days on market at now at 26 days, that's just indicating more and more every single day, buyers get more and more leverage to get big discounts on homes and get their closing costs paid or to buy down their interest rate. So if you are wanting to be in the market to buy a home right now, please reach out to me. I'd love to discuss you know, how much leverage you would have in your situation and what type of home you're looking for. I'd love to help you out any way I can or just to educate you, give you advice, just reach out to me. My contact info is in the description as always. I think numbers are gonna to continue to slow down into November and December. That's pretty typical for the winter, but we'll have to see where interest rates go. If they continue to tick downwards, which seems to be the, the feel of people who I've talked to and, and articles that I've read, things seem to maybe have peaked, fingers crossed. But again, I don't have a crystal ball. No one has a crystal ball. We don't know where interest rates are gonna go. I'm of the opinion that they are gonna tick down slowly in 2024, and then they're gonna start going down faster towards the end of 2024. So when that starts to happen, things are gonna get crazy. So if you are on the sidelines waiting to buy, you could buy, but you're waiting. I do not recommend waiting. Things could get crazy really fast. Right now is a good time to buy if, if you have some cash, if you have that closing cost. And honestly, right now, it's a good time to get all your closing costs covered. Sellers are more than willing to negotiate with you right now if you're, if you're wanting to buy a house, especially in the winter. So use that to your, your advantage. If you wanna learn more, just reach out to me. My contact info is in the description as always. But yeah, that's about it for this video. If anything else crazy happens with interest rates or the marketplace, I'll make a video updating you guys. My name is Wesley Meyer. I'm a realtor here. If you wanna do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications to not miss any of my weekly videos. And if you or someone you know is thinking about purchasing your house, thinking about selling your house, reach out to me. I'd love to walk you through what that process looks like and how much your home could be worth. I also host a first time home buyer consultation with myself and my team of experts. If you wanna sign up for that, please feel free. There's a link in the description to sign up for that as well. So until next time, have a good one guys, bye-bye.